Hello Spies, welcome and welcome back. We're going to do some die, the oracle, the tarot, and then we have some charms at the end that we're gonna sift through here, see if we can decode anything, okay, like the proper spy does. Anyway, welcome to a spy spread tarot reading. It's a reading between you and someone in your environment. It doesn't have to be love. We're gonna see what comes out here. Maybe this will narrow it down for us. Who are we reading for anyway? I haven't written the title yet, spies. No, 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 no. We've done Scorpio. You guys may suddenly be running into a Scorpio or there's something shaken up between you and a Scorpio because I saw the first house. So that is in your personal vicinity. Okay, legit. Sagittarius. We got Sagittarius. We got Venus. <laughs> we got a number one. Hmm. Is Venus still in Libra right now? It might be in Libra, but I know it's moving into Scorpio, so. Hmm. Uh, Sagittarius, this is your reading. This is about your self here. And, you know, Venus is about luxuries. It's about feeling good, looking good, smelling good, eating well, taking care of yourself, all of the above. But it's also, um, you may be meeting someone here. You might meet someone you like. For some reason, I thought, okay. Yeah, there's some sort of communication coming in. Man, what's going on? I'm seeing things right there, okay. There's, yeah, I just wanted to say that there's some sort of communication coming in from someone. You may fall in love, someone loves you, someone wants to connect with you, okay? Venus could be about connections. It could also be about opportunities involving wealth and abundance coming your way. All right, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll. Supernatural? Hmm. Bottom of the deck. Her last day in the light. Okay. Maybe you've had some sort of ending here. Because we did have the Uranus and <laughs> Uranus. And yes, immature. And the Scorpio energy in your first house. So it feels like there's certain sudden changes happening and you are definitely moving into some certain other faces here. Let's see what we get. Unexpected ending, surprise changes, and sudden shifts coming your way. You're possibly actually experiencing this already. Yeah, something's changing for you. Nobility, honor, high standards, and idealistic. Number 42. Okay, that's a number six. Um, wow, what in the world? And we saw the supernatural high priestess energy. What is this? Hmm. Um, I feel like somebody's trying to open up some sort of avenue to get toward you. I don't feel this being that communication we were talking about, not just yet at least, okay? I do feel like you are experiencing some certain upgrades to yourself here because we do have the nobility card. So yeah, maybe this is your status. This could be your career. This could be how you show up in the world. Somehow, some way, this is moving up a notch. You're moving up a notch, you're moving up a level, climbing the ladder here. Um, I feel like this has to do with somebody trying to connect with you though, or you, you are okay. Because something has changed and ended as well. And there's silence there. That's a thing. So let's see what we get. Left side. We are doing Sagittarius. If you're looking for the other spice bread, it's probably more in depth. It'll be on the September playlist in the description, as well as the decks of cards we're using because people ask. Um, ooh, I almost said Scorpio. Uh, Sagittarius, please, on the left. Because we saw that earlier. On the left, please. Sagittarius. Or maybe you're dealing with one. I don't know. Moon card. Could be a water sign. Yeah. Um, this is about some certain ending. Wow, there could be a water sign. That is my Scorpio card. This is my Cancer Pisces card. This is someone that you may have been building a home with or had an idea of building a home with. Maybe they thought this way about you. This is the happy wife, happy life card. This could have come to an end here. We have the world card there. Six of cups. Okay. The four of cups. Okay, Sagittarius. Listen to this. All right. I have to say this. 
there is some energy of um, reconnection with this person. Um, someone here could be, this could be you. You could be in some sort of energy of thinking about your past, a lot of memories, um, thinking about your connection with this person. And, you know, it could be nice at times. Other times you really hate what you feel. You really hate what you think about. And I feel like you're getting tired of thinking about this stuff. All right. I really do. Because some of this could bring up some fears or anxieties and maybe unrest is the word I'm actually getting. So here's the thing. If there is some sort of opportunity to reconnect, I feel like you're not doing it and you're not doing it for a reason. I feel like there is some sort of um, energy like, like, hmm, no, I don't want that. But it's almost like to um, disarm someone. It kind of takes their power away that they feel like they can reconnect. Do you see what I'm saying? Hope so. Let's move toward partner B here. Some of you guys have other opportunities in your environment as well. And maybe they're just not cutting it or they're not feeling the way that you once felt with somebody else. But comparison is the thief of joy. Partner B, what's going on here, partner B? How are you relating to Sagittarius? Who are you? <laughs> Seven of Cups. Someone has options. Okay, Two of Swords, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Venus, this is Venus Scorpio energy. Could be a Libra for some of you. Hmm. Okay, whoever this is, yeah, there is some sort of silence here. Someone's not talking. There's like a, a purposeful block, okay? Um, and, and I feel like you guys both have an idea of maybe options here or there's some sort of options going on you have the four cups this person has a seven of cups it's like you may have the opportunity to reconnect with this person you guys may also have opportunities to connect with other people that's kind of what's here when partner b thinks about this situation they have a lot of questions going on or a lot of questions in their mind some of you there's a lot of confusion going on with this person in general there could be a lot of things going on in their life in general. They're not sure where they want to invest, so they don't. That's the Four of Pentacles right there. Okay. Back to Sagittarius. Partner A. Empress. Fool card. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Really? There, okay, <laughs> let me just, you have the hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Libra, Taurus, okay? Let me see partner B really quickly because, <laughs> because bottom of the deck, three of wands, we have the 10 of cups, really? Empress, both of you. I knew it. I knew there was some clue that was going to come out here. I just knew it. Um, okay. You guys haven't let go of one another. It could be both of you. Maybe this is a Capricorn or an Aries. I don't know. Um, this, this person on partner B side could have those people here. So this is interesting because you guys have an opportunity to reconnect, all right? I see that you guys both have some sort of idea of reconnecting, but this is about um, wanting to have a stable household and growth, luxury, abundance, maybe even a family together, okay? So when it comes to that point, though, it's not stable. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. It's like you may be wanting to do some more soul searching here to decide which way you want to go. I feel like you guys are both seeking one another out, but someone has somebody else. Or there's other options here. 
and that's going to prevent this from moving forward guys um it's probably both of you whoever this is i do see you reconnecting though or connecting whatever this is okay whatever let's pull an outcome for this time period for partner a and b because they're saying that you're juggling over here Sagittarius maybe you have the intentions of showing them that you have other options as well and you know what that could be them but it's showing up as partner a so it's saying that someone has options and they want to show that off in a way or say like look i got i have more than you you know uh what are you gonna do now basically but it's interesting because you guys see each other as very almost like you could build with one another So now both of you are hesitant mm -hmm. between partner A and B, please. And I can see why. Because you guys both got other stuff going on or some ideas about other stuff. Two of Pentacles, exactly. That's the juggler and it's your card here on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands and the Four of Swords. Hmm. Three of Swords, the World card. That's you, Sagittarius. Prince of Wands, Eight of Wands. Wheel, that's also Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, wow. Let me see. All right, someone here needs to speak about whether or not they are um, single. They, someone could be seeking information to see if the other person is single and whether or not you're able to reinvest as long as they're single or something of that effect here. Um, you may be needing to choose what you're doing here, Sagittarius, because you have the independence card, okay? It's the nine of pentacles with the ace of swords and the two of pentacles. This is about saying you have to make a decision um, if you're juggling or if you're in between paths, if you're deciding to be single or to be with this person or whatever that is, you know, this could be two people or this could be you and reconnecting, right? Like I choose myself kind of thing. That could also be what's on the table here. But from what I'm seeing, it's almost like um, you reconnect with this person, but it's very, it's very temporary or it kind of becomes somewhat of a mess because um, people are carrying some sort of energies here, okay? From other options, other ideas, other people. So what happens here is you may be deciding to hold yourself back or trying to or someone is but there's a huge rush of energy coming in and just be aware of that because this could cause a three of swords okay three of swords heartbreak pain all of the above um and i feel like you could be wanting to prevent that you may need to be a little patient here even though all the signs are saying go 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 that's what i'm seeing because it's like it's like there's a lot of information or communication coming in and an opportunity to be intimate with someone, to reconnect with someone. But again, we, we still need to be clear here. We need that clarity. We need that, you know, <laughs> clean slate, I guess. This is what this reading is calling for from both ends, whatever that means to you. Let's throw some charms. I don't even know how loud that is. But I hope it's not. N. I. What's that? I. E. <laughs> C. Nice. Ooh. Or a niece. Dan. R. D A N R. Dance. Dancer. Is this a dancer? Huh. Dinner. Okay. Could be an invitation for dinner. I again. O. S ios that's your apple ios <laughs> is that what's going on here rios rio dan rio t riodi 
G R D Tiger Um Well, you know, I'm sure you could figure that out there. Could be someone's initials or making some letters or some sort of information for you. Okay. For Sagittarius. Whoa, the past. Look at that. That just flew out. I don't even know if you saw that. Knowledge. Someone else had this. What was the sign I just did? I don't know. They had the exact same cards. The past came out and knowledge on the bottom. But that flew out. So your past is here. There's some information. I feel like you know what's up. They know what's up or they need to know what's up. You guys need to talk about this. There needs to be some truth, some clarity, some information to be shared here about this. Okay. Maybe someone's past is coming into play. All right. This could be your past person because this is a reconnection here. So communion, beauty. Okay. Nurturer. A lot of Venusian energy. I feel like you're looking for something with a lot of Venus. So this is where you could plant seeds and have abundance. All right. So um, maybe there needs to be a conversation about this or what? I don't know. But you got forgiveness here. All right. For Sag, what's this, please? Messages for Sag affirmations. Oh no, too many, but I'll take that bottom one. Let's take this, the Black Madonna. Let's see. Oh gosh, really? So there's some sort of lesson that this is serving here. The heartbreak of this lesson is, okay, Mary Magdalene and the Black Madonna and Perpetua. Whoever I just did also had Perpetua. So they're getting the same cards as you. You may want to, ch I don't even know how to tell you who it was because I don't, I just did several readings, but it was the most recent one. I don't remember who it was. Was it Scorpio? No, it was Aquarius, I, f I think. Okay, anyway, doesn't matter. The state of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Hello, this is about truth, guys. And you have this knowledge card. Someone needs to speak up. Someone needs to tell the truth before it's too late. <laughs> That's what I feel, okay? I feel it, okay? The Black Madonna, Our Lady of the Hermits. I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. Yeah, um, so here's the thing. It's as though you could have another opportunity with somebody, but have people grown? Have people learned? Are they able to love in a different way? Are they able to love more, vulner more vulnerably, <laughs> more freely? That's kind of a question here. So keep that in mind if you have to. But this is also an affirmation here to transform the pain and suffering into love here. A greater capacity to love people, to understand people, to connect with people, right? Mary Magdalene. This is the Apostle of the Apostles. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Okay. Okay. You know what? I feel like you manifested this or they did. You guys are really reaching out to each other in some sort of like psychic way, I feel. Okay. I love you guys so very much. Um, feel free to check your other placements if you want to. And your friends, your family members, your neighbors, your coworkers, whoever's. <sighs> Seeing like trigger. Um, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tony down the street. Check theirs too. So we know what they're up to. I love you guys so very much. I'll see you next time. Kisses.